Sound is everywhere. It is most likely all around you even now. Is a clock ticking in the room where you are? Is a television on nearby? Is there traffic outside your home? Each of these sounds is coming from a different location. So, how can they all be heard from one specific spot? It is because sound travels. Sounds are created when an object vibrates. To vibrate is to move quickly back and forth. If you watch in slow motion, you can see the strings of this guitar vibrate. The sound continues until the strings stop vibrating. Place your hand on your throat and hum. Can you feel the vibrations as you make the sound? The vibrations of sounds travel in waves. These waves move in all directions. The stronger the vibrations, the louder the sound, and the farther away it travels. The sound of this ticking clock is faint. The sound waves do not travel very far. If you go outside, you won't hear the ticking anymore. This truck creates much stronger vibrations, making a much louder sound. As a result, you can hear it from much farther away. You can even hear it from inside your home. This is because sound waves travel through solid materials, such as walls and windows. Sound can even travel through liquid. Dolphins and many other animals that live underwater make sounds to communicate. They can hear each other from very far away. Sound waves travel through solids, liquids and gases at different speeds. To see this in action, try a quick experiment. Gently tap on a desk or table. Do you hear the sound the tapping makes? The sound waves are traveling through the air to your ear. Now, put one ear against the table. Gently tap again the same way. This time, the sound waves are traveling through the solid table to your ear. Do you hear a difference? You probably noticed that when your ear was against the table, the sound was louder. This is because sound waves travel faster through a solid than through air, which is a gas. Here is another example. Imagine standing across a large room from someone who is whispering. A whisper is very quiet, so it makes small vibrations. The sound waves travel through the air, but probably not far enough for you to hear clearly all the way across the room. One solution is for the person to speak louder. The sound waves of the louder voice will travel farther so that you can easily hear. Another solution is to give the sound waves an easier material through which to travel. Have you ever made a tin can telephone? You can make one using string and two empty cans or cups. Punch a hole in the bottom of each can or cup. Run a very long string through the holes, tying a knot at each end. Hold one end and have another person hold the other end. With the string pulled tight, whisper into one can or cup while the other person uses the opposite one to listen. The sound waves of your whisper will travel through the solid string to be heard by the person on the other end. The other person will hear your voice without you having to talk any louder. There are many fun ways to experiment with sound. 
What else can you observe about the way sound travels?